is Suzanne Ridgway from Let Us Eat, and welcome to my channel. I'm plugging along this morning. I have hurt my back, and my foot has been bothering me for a little while now. I'd say about a week. I think I stressed it. I cut my toe a few days ago while making one of my videos, and I had to use a lot of extra pressure on my one foot. And it's made my right foot very tender, and I can't always walk on it. I am getting some cleaning up this morning, despite the aches and pains. And I want to get things spruced up a little bit. It's mine and my husband's 19th anniversary today. So if you're watching, please wish us happy anniversary in comments below. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe. And on that note, I am going to get going to get some dishes done. And then I'm going to start my crock pot and I'll be right back with you. I'm going to start by cutting my onion. I got in my crock pot a pound of ground beef. Still a little frozen, which is okay. Because you can cook any meat raw in your crock pot. It's just fine. need a half a small onion for this recipe unless you like the onion flavoring. My husband and I don't like the onions overpowering our food. Oh that is strong onion. And I'm going to put the onion into my crock pot. Don't have a lot of counter space. Do I cover you up for a second? And I'm going to scrape the onion into the crock pot. I'm going to take a couple of celery stalks, which is about three in my soup. This is going to be old fashioned hamburger soup. I'll post the recipe in my description box. I'm going to give this a quick chop, cut the brown parts off, an inch thick. Cut it, not too thick, because it's hard to get them to that white that you prefer. You don't want them too hard of a white. Now I'm going to add the rest of this broth that I have. I think it's about a cup and a half that's left. Just put it all in there. I have my garbage bowl in my sink. 
I've talked about my garbage bowl many times. It helps tremendous with cleanup. I'm going to rinse these. If I can get the can open for about 90 seconds. Oh, that was onions were really strong. Wow. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to add a boiling cube. You can use beef or chicken broth. My husband and I prefer chicken broth for any kind of soup. So we use the chicken bouillon cubes. I buy a big tub of them at BJ's and they last a really long time. I'm going to add the mixed vegetables. And then I'm going to add about a cup of the bell pepper strips. If you have a garden, use one or two bell peppers, medium size, and cut them about a half an inch to an inch thick, unless you want to do fancy, you can do julienne style. I'm going to add that all in there. Grab my wooden spoon. And just mix this up, and at this time I'm going to add in around three teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper and three teaspoons of garlic. Also going to add in a tablespoon of ketchup. about three teaspoons. And about three teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper. I'm going to mix it all up. I'm also going to add a can of diced tomatoes. I'm actually going to do stewed. Stewed would be perfect. If you have garden tomatoes, you can cube them to bite-sized pieces and add three to four. I'm just going to add a whole can of cubes and stir it up. And then about 45 minutes to an hour before we eat, I'm going to boil some macaroni noodles to go with this. And this is going to cook on low for about four to six hours. And then you're going to keep warm. It serves about six to eight people. I'm going to show you what it looks like. What my old fashioned hamburger soup looks like. At this time, if you like my video, please like. Please subscribe. And tell your friends and family to subscribe. And have a great day.